I'm Mike Jones. I'm a platform evangelist at Adobe, and I'm here today with Andrew Martin from Hooplo. Could you tell our viewers a little bit about what Hooplo actually does? So I'm a CTO at Hooplo.com, and Hooplo is a platform for uh, our partners and third-party developers to just build games and not worry about all the hard stuff associated with social networks and payments and all the crap that we have to do to build a game that's profitable these days. So what technologies do you actually use to build the Hooplo platform? So we use an entire suite of products from Adobe, um, Flash, Flash Builder, and Lifecycle Data Services on the back end. Lifecycle is a real new player in the data mechanic for games. Usually you see JSON or XML. And we found, especially for our multiplayer real-time games, that it gives us a, a great level of service for all the players involved. That's great. And you're actually actively looking for other developers to now you know, introduce to your platform, or are you do you have a particular process that people can find out more about? So at the end of, the, of this month, uh, we'll be launching Hooplo.com officially. Uh, we have a handful of arcade games on there for people to try and play with. Um, if they're interested in contacting us, we are working with strategic partners at this point to bring onto the platform while we continue to develop and fine tune the APIs. Uh, within about six to eight months, we'll be opening it out to the general public so then everyone can just use the platform to build games. Excellent. Talking about Flash and the innovations that we've seen today, not only in the keynote of Flash on the Beach, but some of the things that we've had on labs recently. Um, specifically, I'm sort of thinking about stage 3D. How do you think that's going to um, help your business um, with the development of games as we move forward? Stage 3D was a real game changer for us. Um, over a year ago when we started this process, we had this concept of avatars in, in our system. Um, but then once uh, Molehill was announced at Max last year, uh, we decided to hold off on building the avatar system because to us, building 3D avatars that people could dress and change and play with in the game uh, was a far richer uh, experience rather than just a 2D avatar that they could interact with. Great. Thank you very much to Andrew Martin, CTO from Hooplo. And if you want to go and find out more information, as Andrew said, the site will be launching in about a month's time. So you can just go to hooplo.com. Um, the link is actually at the bottom of the screen now. And thanks for popping by, and hopefully we'll have some more interviews from Flash on the Beach 2011.